The topic of this video is how to evaluate the ankle tendons and ligaments with ultrasound. The objectives are to learn the standard approach to imaging the ankle with ultrasound, to learn the anatomy pertinent to ankle sonography, and to become familiar with the sonographic appearance of ankle tendons and ligaments. Ultrasound is well suited to evaluate the ankle tendons and ligaments due to their superficial location. We prefer to use the linear array 17 megahertz transducer for its small footprint and high resolution. Additional transducers that can be used include a linear array 12 megahertz transducer and a compact linear array 15 megahertz transducer, also known as the hockey stick. This is useful for scanning difficult to reach areas necessitating a small footprint transducer. Important in learning and mastering ankle sonography is a clear understanding of the anatomy of the foot and ankle. This will be reviewed as pertinent to this video as we go along. The Achilles tendon originates from the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles and inserts onto the posterior calcaneus indicated by the blue star. In the slide video demonstration, the posterior angle is scanned with a patient prone, their foot hanging off the end of the stretcher. Place the probe over the calcaneus and image the distal Achilles tendon in the longitudinal plane. Slide the probe superiorly along the tendon up to the musculotendinous junction. Then turn the probe transverse and scan the Achilles tendon in the axial plane while sliding down towards its insertion. Scan until the Achilles attachment site to the calcaneus is identified. Notice that at the attachment, the tendon is hypoechoic. One needs to rock the transducer to get rid of anisotropy. This should be done in both a transverse and long axis plane to differentiate anisotropy from pathology. The Achilles tendon indicated by the yellow arrows has the typical sonographic appearance seen in all tendons. It is composed of parallel echogenic lines corresponding to the collagen fibrils. In addition, the tendon should be uniform in thickness and echogenicity along its length. On the image on the right, we see that it should have a flat or concave anterior margin in the transverse plane. 